Well, welcome back, folks. I've woken up. I've got this whole week off, so I'm feeling pretty good. I've actually just had pizza for breakfast. Oh, yes. Let's have a look at our new GF, Ifrit. Now, he's got some really nice abilities. And we're going to have him learning strength first. And there is a reason for that. Uh, Quasita Cottle, yes, you still need to learn that. Now, that was a bit silly, really, letting Cheever learn that ability. I could have uh, had a learning something else. I'm trying to think where... It, well, I'm not going to use Cheever again now. So, she can actually switch to... No point having a learning strength. Let's give her that vitality. Now we do need to power Quasita Cottle up a bit, so we'll leave him learning that for the time being. He's already got boost, which is a good start. So hold on, just need to re-equip my GFs. If we switch those around, and then give Squall Ifrit for now, And that's about it, I think, for the moment. We can now leave this horrible place, but we'll do a little bit of drawing and fighting on the way. Just like I did for Final Fantasy VII, after so many fights, I'll just start skipping them. I won't record them, is what I mean. See, ridiculously weak. Someone said that they didn't think that uh, these guys actually grow in size, but I think they do, but it might only be from physical attacks. That's enough magic for now, I think. You can draw once more. Well, you can use a special. Very nice. I think from here on in, I'll start skipping the battles. The good thing that you can get from here whilst fighting those guys is if you can uh, get a bomb card from them. It's really, excuse me, near, it's really quite handy at this point in the game. What's going to do? That was a junction. So here's the junction screen. Now you can see strength and spirit are selected for us. What we can do is we can select magic to further increase our abilities. So we're going to put fire in there. Yeah. If we had another fire ability, or another elemental spell, we could put it in there, which would increase um, his sort of electric damage or fire damage. Same for Quistis. She can... no, actually. You give all your fire to Squall, please. And Squall should have a strength of 20. Yes, I was right. It's fine with me. And we're continuing on. As you can see, I skipped that battle. Wasn't anything interesting. Another fight. So from that little fight I just had, we got a lot of magic. What I'm going to be doing... My two main things for this first part of the game is to get 100 magic and 100 thunder. I'm going Junction Thunder to Squall's attack. Because it's a low level thunder spell. Even if you've got 100 thunder spells Junction, you'll only do 50% 50 dam uh, electric damage. But it's really worth it for a fight that's coming up later in the game. So do it if possible. 
So anyway, as I was saying, I'm just going to change some of Squall's abilities as well. Oops, the EGF. We got a lot more fire magic from Christus just then. So now he's got a maximum of 27 strength, which isn't bad for this point in the game. And that's with Junction 100 fire magic. Good start, if you ask me. Again, we got lots more magic, so it might be a bit boring all that I'm doing is sort of transferring stuff over to Squall. But, there is a reason for it. It's not for this part of the game really, it's for a little later on, when you really need some thunder magic. So we've got 100 thunder magic and 100 fire magic, just what we needed. completed the first trial, which was uh, to capture a low level GF. We did that fine. The well, first thing I'm going to do before going back to Balan, I'm going to try, if I can, and get to Balan, the actual village or city of Balan. Unless it tells us we have to go back to Balan Garden first. No, we can go in, that's great. So welcome to your hometown of Balan. We need to go find the shop. Now it's not that shop, because that's a junk shop. I believe it's this shop over on this side, because we're quite low on items, would you believe? Let's get... Another four of those... Let's get... Ten, just to be sure... No, everything else is fine. Very calming music in Balan. But now that we've completed our first test, we can return back to Balan Garden. The environments, world map-wise, really are very nice. Back at Balam, home sweet home. So I think we can call that a full success. <coughs> now I'm not going to listen to this tutorial again, because all she's saying is that... Um, a GF is... The more times you use GF with that particular character, the more attuned you'll become to that person. So, if you keep using it with that one person, they'll be able to summon it faster. That's the gist of it. Whereas, we're not going to be using GFs, really. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to think, is there any point trying to win any chocobo, uh, to win any cars yet? Let's try. Because this guy's carrying a, a rare card. If you notice from the fight with Ilfrit, Ifrit even, we got his card, which is very powerful. Okay, he hasn't played it this time. Taking it with that, that's fine. Uh, we can 
only take that top one. Damn, he's gonna win this. I don't think so. Yes, folks, we can be very lame with cards, considering that we've got the ingenious save states. Oh, look, he's played it. Take with a can't take